Hello everyone. Welcome to another weekly wellness pulse. This week I wanted to talk about something that we're doing for Jared. He's been struggling a lot over the last couple of years with um, respiratory issues, sinus issues, and we've been working through all of that trying to figure out what we can do to promote wellness in those systems of his body. So we've gotten his um, respiratory things pretty well under control. He has flare-ups every now and again, but we've gone through all that. We know what helps him. But recently, we've really been struggling with everything in his sinus areas. He gets pressure in through here, and a lot of times up in here really bothers him. And we've just been trying to narrow down what that could be and what we could do to help him. So at this point, we think that it's something in the atmosphere at work that's getting to him. Obviously, we can't change what's happening there, so we are doing the best we can to deal with it while he's home. So we found a recipe for a nasal rinse that you would use in a neti pot like this. We don't use the solution stuff that comes with this. We just use the pot for the nasal rinse. Um, but this was a protocol of sorts that we found in um, our desk reference that we use. So it's 10 drops rosemary, which we got specifically for this, six drops thyme, which we've gotten free through our loyalty program, so that's great, and then also two drops cypress, which we've also gotten free. So we really didn't have to invest this much in this, which is awesome. Granted, it's totally worth it, um, and we would have bought them all if we needed them. So you want eight tablespoons of the finest sea salt you can find, and by fine I mean like the texture, not like quality, but you do want quality too. Um, but just the finest that you can get so it dissolves easy, easily. Um, so you're gonna put the drops of all your oils in there and mix it up until those oils are super um, blended in and it's not making the salt like ball up because it's wet. So once I put that together, I keep it in a glass storage container because the oils will eat through synthetics like plastic. So just keep it in a glass container um, so it doesn't release chemicals and stuff into your solution because you don't want to do that. And then what you do is the neti pot will hold up to eight ounces of water. So the protocol called for one teaspoon of your mixture in a cup and a half of water. So I just put a half a teaspoon in the cup because that was the best I could do, which didn't hurt him at all. It worked great. So what I did is I poured the water in here. You want either distilled water, um, like reverse osmosis water, or it said commercially bottled water. So that's what I did. You can also boil the water um, and then let it cool. I didn't want to take the time to do that yesterday when he needed this. So I just poured some bottled water in there, put the bit of salt, the half teaspoon of salt, and stirred it up until I could not see any more um, of the salt floating in the water because then I knew it was perfectly dissolved. And then once we did that, you just stick this in your nostril and keep your mouth open and tilt your head and let the gravity just run that right through until it comes out the other nostril. And then you blow your nose gently. Um, and then if you have to like sniff the little extra kind of back up in there to clear out the very back of your nasal passages. And then you repeat and do it on the other side. So. That's what we're trying for Jared. He said yesterday it felt like it really did help clear him out, and we're going to have him do that every day this week. And then we'll see how often he needs to do it, either just kind of as a maintenance thing or if he needs to do it every day, um, on the at least on the days that he's at work. So I hope that was helpful, and we'll see you guys next week.